<laughs> no, I do not have a problem. Well, why would you ask that? So yeah, hey guys, I am here with a huge Diamond Art Club haul. Uh, this is basically an accumulation of the past couple months. Um, and yeah, it's a lot. It's many. Uh, so <laughs> I wanted to show you guys the kits that I've been ordering recently. Um, and I might open some of them. This is not going to be an unboxing video because that would be an eternity because each one of these would probably take me like half an hour to go over. But I've got a couple that I did want to open that I still have sealed um, that I will show you guys. But in case you guys are new here, uh, hey, I got into diamond painting last year and I, it, it's going well. It's going real well. <laughs> We're not going to talk about the fact that I literally have like two kitted up over here and these are all new ones. I've got like at least 10 more in my closet. The stash is kind of getting excessive now, but uh, why not? I will let you guys live vicariously through me. Full disclosure, I am a Diamond Art Club affiliate and you guys are killing it uh, using my link and using my discount code and everything. Um, no, I didn't get sent any of these. I bought all of these full price with my own money. That's a problem, right? Yeah. Um, but that kind of goes to show that I uh, truly believe in their product. <laughs> so if this doesn't, if this doesn't speak volumes, I don't know what does. Um, so let's just start going through a bunch of these that I have acquired recently. I'm pretty sure the last ones I showed you were Halloween time. So we've gone through all of the holiday season and then some. So let's just go. I think I'm going to flip you guys over so that you guys are looking down at the kits and just, you don't need to stare at my mug the whole time. Um, and we're gonna go, we're gonna go through some of these kits. I just wanna show you a bunch of them because I'm just really excited, okay? Like the excitement hasn't worn off. If anything, it has grown since I last showed you guys kits that I've gotten. I finished I don't know how many. I have like six completed paintings since I've started. Some of them are huge. I'm in the middle of two, as you guys can see. And nope, I'm in the middle of three, four. I can see two hanging in my closet. Oh no. Okay, let's flip the camera around. Okay, this is very fitting. Let's start the video off, you know, with Cricut, who is going to help me show you all of these paintings. But uh, in case you guys needed some kitten content, she's no longer a kitten, but she's kind of kitten sized. Oh, we can't touch the belly. Okay, well, the moment's over. Okay, we're back to this now. So as you can see, these are the newest additions to the stash and I just want to show them to you. We're gonna do this one first because obviously you guys can see what this one is. This is the only one that I did not buy. This was a Christmas present from my mom to me. And this is one of the ones that you can buy in stores, which means the boxes are slightly different and they actually show what it is on here. So let's just get to this one. So obviously this is the one that I was looking at and I will bring it up to you guys so that you can see how stinking cute it is. So this is the image and any of the ones that you buy in stores actually have the image like on the top half of the box as it wraps around, which is really cool um, and very convenient for your stash. Wherever you keep all of your like extra diamond paintings, it's really nice to have the images on the side so that you can see it. So in case you guys didn't see my last couple diamond painting videos, um, I'm obsessed with Randall Spangler and I need all of them. And Diamond Art Club has a contract with him and I know he's licensed to produce, I think like 21 paintings with them starting with like the Black Friday releases and then going forward so this entire year we're gonna get like 20-ish paintings from him and I'm so excited so this one though is one of the older ones and I have this saved basically for summertime because it is so cute it's called Flight of the Fireflies it's 56 by 56 so it's like a nice perfect square um it is around obviously you can see this any of the ones that have this pink stripe around are gonna be round any that are blue are gonna be square um, a lot of this haul is actually round, which is, it's kind of nice. I'm going to be honest. I have a lot of squares. I ultimately like square finished products more. And I like doing squares because it's extremely satisfying when they all click like right next to each other and it's all perfectly lined up and even, but they do take a long time and they're way more tedious to do than rounds. I have found at least, um, this one has 40 colors, including one Aurora Borealis and one special. Wait, there's a special one. What is the special one? I don't know what the special one is. All right, we gotta open this for sure then. Um, I figured I would open this one just because it's a fairly easy one to open because it doesn't have the plastic on it. Because like I said, it was um, in a store. 
So let's take a look. Oh, I did already open this. I totally did. So in the box, we have the inventory sheet. Look at all those colors. This is going to be such a fun painting. Okay, the sticker and instructions and whatnot are still in the box. So we'll set this aside. But I did want to see what the special one is. And in case you guys are new, this is what these paintings look like before you do them. So we have the toolkit. Um, it came with instructions in here. I threw them at my mom because my mom got one for Christmas as well. But now I'm intrigued. What's the special one? Oh, I see it. It's a metallic. Oh, that's cool. It's like a gold or a I think it's actually a sparkler. I think it's like a rhinestone. It looks clear, which I'm guessing is going to likely be L, which I think is going to be, okay, L44 is nine. Where is nine? I'm assuming it's going to be kind of a glowy one. So I would assume like, nope, maybe not. I thought it was gonna be like in the fireflies. Where is symbol nine? Oh, it's in, hold on, let me roll this up so I can bring it up to you guys. It's actually in the dragon, like in the image here. Hold on, I'll just pull this up. So as you guys can see, there's like these dragons that are made from the fireflies that are like zooming around both sides. So it's going to be those, those are going to be like rhinestones. That's going to be so cool. I also think that I kind of want to make all of the little fireflies glow-in-the-dark ones. I have spare glow-in-the-dark drills. I might see if I can do that because I feel like that would look really, really cool. So that's what um, this one looks like in case y'all were curious. I figured I would unbox a couple for you. Okay, let's get back to the actual stash. Alrighty, while I'm on this kick, I might as well show you this one. I am so excited for this one. So this is a square kit and this one is like the huge box. Um, this one is 94 by 70. This is going to be all big honking mama and I'm so excited. So I am actually going to open this one. I need some scissors. Let's, uh, where's the seam? I guess I can go there. Let's open this. I am so pumped. So this I think was, I think the first one that I ever um, got to um, pre-order when I reached Ruby status. Yeah, I'm already diamond. Like I, I hit diamond before the end of the year. It's ridiculous. That's like the membership status thing. Um, it's It happened. Um, but this was the very first painting that I actually got like early access to being a Ruby member. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's so big. That's what she said. Oh my goodness. Let's see. There's the sticker. There is the inventory sheet. Okay. So here we go. This is the actual image that is so freaking cute. Like, so Randall Spangler makes all of these paintings that have little tiny like pocket sized dragons and books and usually cookies and usually cats or dogs. And they were designed for me. They are the cutest things ever. And I am on a personal mission to acquire all of them. So here we go. <laughs> so this one has 57 colors. Oh my goodness. And it looks like one, two, three AB colors, which stands for Aurora Borealis, which means the drills have like an iridescent coating that make them extra sparkly. Okay, so we have that. We've got the little sticker. We've got the toolkit. Oh man, this one feels heavy. Yeah, because it's a big kit. That would be why, Chelsea. Good Lord. Okay, so we'll put those aside. Uh, I'm so excited to see this. It's going to be so big. Oh my goodness. And it's heavy. Like, there are so many drills in here. Okay, let's see. Is this... It's going to go this way. Oh man, we are not going to have room to do this. Hang on. I kind of just had to adjust the camera so that it was out of the way, but y'all aren't going to be able to see like the very bottom of it because this goes very far from like the front of the desk all the way down. So we'll see. All right, that's probably as good as it's going to get. Okay, are we ready? Oh my god, look how cute! He's holding a cookie from a plate of cookies. Oh my gosh, there's the other one. Holy crap -oly. Wow, that's a lot of drills. Oh my god, look how many colors there are. Instructions, we don't need her. Look at the drill choices though. Oh, look at the little cat face. Oh my goodness. We've got Peter Pan. That's fun. I think that's the only book that has a title on it. But let me try and move y'all around. Look how big this piece is. 
I am so excited. Oh, that's my hand. Rookie mistake. Good Lord. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. So this one has, I think, three AB colors. So it's going to be one, two, and three. Where do we think they're going to be? So it looks like twos are mixed in with a lot of the book spines. Let me just, oh my God, this weighs so much. So there are twos right here. There's also a few twos like down here. Okay, so it's gonna be in the books. Um, what about the ones? Ones are usually, oh, ones are in the books as well. They're in these little areas, the bright, bright green. So probably right there. And then threes are white. Three is right there. So the smoke from the candle and the flame of the candle. Oh my God, all of this is three. Holy crap, this whole thing is gonna be all sparkly. That's gonna be so cool. And the whole candle is also, and the cat's face, oh my God. I am so excited and it's 141 and I have extras of those. So I feel like I could put more of those like here. Maybe I could put so much AB in this. That is going to be so exciting. Look at the clock face. Oh my goodness. That's pretty as well. Okay. Okay. I am so excited. Look how big this is in case you need a size reference. Hello. Here's me and my tiny face. It's big. Okay, I'm gonna roll this one back up and then we will move on to the next one. Okay, and so placing that order, I'm one of those people that I try to get to free shipping. Um, so in order to place that order and get free shipping, I ordered this one. So this is another artist that I adore all of their artwork and I'm working on getting, they don't have that many on the website, but I have this one, I have another one later on in this video. But this one, I will bring it up to you guys. It's a little crooked because I cannot fit it in frame. It's gorgeous. I will also put it on the screen so you guys can like see in full light and color. So as this video is going to go on, you guys will very clearly be able to see that I like very kind of like dark, eerie um, artwork and very, very cute artwork. So the dragons and the books, super cute. I also really like this one and I feel like it's going to be a really cool painting to see when it's done. Um, this one is not nearly as big as that last one. It is 52 by 72 and it's around, so it's not going to be as detailed, but I will try and put up a picture of what it's going to look like finished. So I basically ordered this one off of my wish list um, because it was in stock when the Cookies and Classics one became available just to get the free shipping. So let's move on from this one. While I'm on the same kick, this is another one that I got from the same artist. It's also an owl. It's also very kind of like gritty and abstract. Just like look at how like ominous this owl looks. I like the really like dark eye. I don't know. It just looks really cool. So this is a very small kit. This is only 32 by 46. So it's going to be a little snack size one. I'll probably get it done in like three or four sittings. Um, but it's cool colors. That's the one thing that I really liked. And it's also a square. I've never done a small square one. I feel like my squares, I always get super, super big because they're going to be the most detailed possible. So this one is going to be very interesting, but it is quite small. Should I open this? I'm going to open this one. Okay, let's just do this one. While I'm here, I do want to see what the canvas looks like for the little bitty guy. So let's just open it. Why not? It's a small one. It'll be easy to repackage. So let's just take a look-see. I think there's one more from this artist that is on my wish list that has never been in stock and I want it so bad. It's called Erase. She just does really cool, dark, abstract, like realist looking artwork. There's her toolkit. And then here is our canvas with our inventory sheet. I'll leave that in there along with the sticker. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. I am intrigued. It is so small. How many colors does it have actually? 28. That's going to be really nice to do. Is this the correct way? Yeah, it is. That's the wing. See, that even still looks really good. Even though it's so small, it doesn't look pixelated like almost at all. And when it's done, it's going to look amazing. Look how cool that looks. I just love this red eye. It's so cool looking. This is one that I probably will actually hang up on my wall along with the time owl. I just, I don't, it's totally my style. I don't know why. I just really like the like galaxy splotches. It looks so cool. So here are all of our drills. Obviously it's going to be the colors that you're seeing here. So that looks so fun. I'm excited to do this one. Okay, and moving back into the cutesy style, I have both of these. Ordered one with another one of those orders to have 
um, for Easter time. And then the artist immediately dropped a new painting, like the following week after I placed that order. So I, I just ordered both of them. Um, as you guys can see, one is pink, one is blue, which means it's a round and a square. So this one, uh, it's so cute. And this one is called Gypsy Violet. And the horse girl in me just couldn't let this go. It's so cute. So I'll put a picture on the screen so you guys can see it while I'm talking about it. But this one, like I said, is clearly a round and this one is 56 by 71. That's about the standard size that you're gonna find the most of on Diamond Art Club. It's a sizable thing. Like it will take me probably a month at least to do depending on how long I'm sitting for each session. It's got some AB drills in it and I just, I love this one. Okay, so this was the second one that I placed. This was the first one. This one has been on my wish list for a very long time, and this one is just so freaking cute. It's called Jackalope Junction Garden, and I literally bought this to do um, for Easter. It looks like the cutest little, like, fantasy, cutesy, um, springtime thing. So I love this one. It was on my wish list. I placed it with another order that I did, and then the same artist released this one the following week, and I was like, well, dagnabbit. So I ordered both and it's going to be interesting to see both of them because they're both the exact same size, 56 by 71. Um, but one is round and one is square. So it's going to be cool to kind of compare the two to like see the difference of like how pixelated one looks versus the other. I'm excited to do both of these. I think both of these are going to be springtime ones, but I'll probably need to like intermix darker pieces because this is, this is very cutesy for me. Okay, and then the very last one that I have to show you is War Pony. Like I said, I'm a horse girl. And their horse paintings are some of the few that I really like that don't look like, they just look like pieces that are not the standard like horse girl type of paintings. They're usually like very, very detailed and very realistic looking. And they're not just like a cutesy little pony. I say that as I literally just hauled one that had succulents around it. Um, this is the exact same size as well. So 56 by 71. So this is a big painting, but the bigger, the better, because you'll get way more detail. This one's round. I'm very excited to do this one. Those are all of the paintings that I've gotten recently. I know I have a problem, but I also can't stop doing them. So I'm like, I'm not at the same ratio as like completing to buying as I should be, but I'm making good progress, let me tell you. So, um, never ending mission to get all of the Randall Spangler ones. That's a never ending process for me. And anything clearly that has animals in it. This is my range, guys. <laughs> so, that is going to be it for this haul video. Um, I will have everything linked down below. Full transparency, it is an affiliate link. I do make a very small commission from that link if you guys buy from it or use my rep code that's down there. That will save you guys money. Um, I'll put information in the description for you guys. And again, I want to say a huge thank you to you guys for welcoming diamond painting onto my channel with open arms because wow, you guys seem to really like this content. Um, I have a few more uh, videos planned upcoming. I'm going to do a couple tutorial type of things, even though I feel like I am not equipped to be one giving you tutorials, but it's been requested. I've got a couple like accessory hauls coming up and I do, I, I'm thinking of starting to do whip and chats um, where I discuss like bookish stuff. If you guys would be interested in that, that's kind of an idea that I'm toying around with doing possibly for Patreon. I'm thinking about starting a Patreon. I know it's a whole thing, but for today, this is the content you're getting. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next video.